Hi, welcome to my More Than A Birdhouse tutorial. This is a fantastic, versatile tool. It can be used for so many different cake designs. Here it is as a cute little birdhouse with an owl sitting outside. It looks great as a barn on top of a farmyard cake. It looks great as a gingerbread house. This is a little toy store. Fantastic as a haunted house. I've even made a dog kennel. Here's another little gingerbread house that I made. This is a garden shed, or you could make a little house. And this is a beach house. There are so many different uses. I'm now going to guide you through, step by step, how to make the birdhouse. The set comprises of two different shapes of birdhouse. One has a straight side and one has a slanted side. Today I've chosen to use the birdhouse shape with the slanted side. You need to make these in advance. I've used modelling paste, you can use gum paste and you can even use flower paste. I've also chosen to use the FMM impression mat set one. This contains a wood grain and a tile. So as you can see in the photo, I've got two panels with the slanted sides and I've cut a center in one of them. For the sides, we use the narrower rectangle shape you need two of those. And for the roof and the base, you need the shape that's more like a square. I've used the tile impression mat on the roof, but not on the base. You can also see I've cut out a little bird and I've cut out some blossoms to decorate my birdhouse. Once your shapes have had at least 24 hours to dry, you can use royal icing to secure them. I've used the upstand on my worktop as a support. Once the first side is nice and secure, you can turn it round and do exactly the same on the other side. Of course you can support both sides at the same time if you would like to. Once both these sides are nice and dry and secure, you then need to apply a little royal icing to the back of the front panel and place this on top. I quite like to stand mine up, I find that it dries nice and straight. Now it's time to attach the roof, again with royal icing. Now the roof is in place, we can decorate the birdhouse. Here's a selection of some of the cakes I've made using the birdhouse cutter. As you can see on this cake, I decided not to make a 3D birdhouse. I've made a 2D one and I've placed it on the front of my cake. It looks just as pretty. Now we move on to the Christmas cake. On top I've got a 3D cutter and below I've made some houses that resemble shops. So I've made a post office and I've made a toy store. I made these using the cutter with the straight sides. I think they look great. This is another of my cakes. This time it's my owl cake using the birdhouse cutter. Here is the birdhouse that I made, very similar to the one I've just demonstrated in the tutorial. Instead of cutting out a center circle, I've just placed a pink circle on top. This is my farm themed cake. It looks great as a barn on top. This is my dog kennel cake, really cute. Here is another Christmas cake I made. I've also used the more than a birdhouse cutter to make a boat sitting flat on the front of this cake. And here is one of my favorite cakes I've made. I won gold at Cake International with this cake. It really does make sense why this tool was called More Than A Birdhouse because you can make so many more cake decorations with it. If you've enjoyed watching and you would like to be kept up to date with my new tutorials, please hit the subscribe button and please take the time to check out my other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for watching.